In this video, we look at the most crazy and outrageous moments caught on camera this past month. From drug deals in the back of a taxi to dog walker fights in the park, we have compiled a montage of the most outrageous moments caught on camera. Captured on CCTV or mobile phone footage, here we show the eight craziest and outrageous moments caught on camera. Get out of this house now. Residents in Picton were left frustrated after a group of students took their party to the roof of a house at 8 a.m. People living in Langton Street said they were kept awake by large students chatting, drinking and partying through the early hours. Video has captured a group of students on the roof of a house at 8am at a time when their neighbours were heading out to work. It has left local residents frustrated with the ongoing antisocial behaviour. This shocking footage shows the moment a yob whips out a huge blade and chases off a group of teenagers. He then steals a bike believed to belong to one of the boys. The video was captured on CCTV outside Aintree Conservative Club on August the 5th. It shows a thug in a tracksuit and a long coat walking towards a group of four boys. The yob can be seen pulling out a large knife and as the group notice the blade in his hand, they quickly run off. Still holding the knife, he quickly grabs one of the bikes and rides off. A taxi driver shared footage of an alleged drug deal taking place in the back of his car. The taxi driver captured the footage while out driving in his private hire vehicle in Kensington. He says this is a regular occurrence while picking up fares across Merseyside. Since starting the job six months ago, he says that several fares he has picked up appear to be dealing drugs in the back of his vehicle. He also says it's happening every day, 24 hours a day. These were the dramatic scenes after a car crashed into a Merseyside shop front. The incident happened at the wine rack on Well Road in Birkdale. One eyewitness told the Echo, I was walking back from the village to my house. We were turning the corner when we heard this almighty bang. Fortunately, it is understood no one was seriously hurt. A woman claims she was left with a black eye after being whipped in the face with a lead by a professional dog walker. Emma Clay was walking her seven pugs when she came across Nicky O'Donoghue, owner of Diamond Doggy Care. Mrs O'Donoghue was said to be arguing with another man in Cricketers Park at around 1.30pm on Wednesday, August the 11th. Miss Clay told the Echo she knew both parties and decided to go over to try and defuse the situation. Things became heated, which led Miss Clay to begin recording with her phone. Mobile phone footage shows Mrs O'Donoghue attempting to grab the phone out of Mrs Clay's hand before twirling the dog lead. She eventually whips it in her face as Mrs Clay tries to back away. Merseyside Police confirmed officers are investigating reports of an assault and have invited a woman to attend a voluntary interview. A woman arrived home to find a burglar hiding in her child's bedroom. Alan's Ted and Cotton was found hiding in the child's bedroom in a house on Hob Lane near Runcorn on Saturday, July 17th. After finding Cotton in her home, the woman then started filming as she chased him out of the property. The woman can be heard saying, Get out of this house now, turn around while I film your face, you little scumbag. He turns to face the camera a number of times before walking at pace from the grounds. The woman shouts for someone to call the police and says, you are hiding in the child's bedroom, a child's bedroom. Cotton of Fallowfield Runcorn pleaded guilty to aggravated burglary on Monday, August the 16th at Chester Crown Court. He was jailed seven years and six months for the offence. This man was captured on camera walking out on his restaurant bill as well as stealing the tip jar from staff. Delhi Valari on Lord Street Southport saved a man who walked off without paying as he also snatched the tip jar from next to the till. 
The popular deli say the incident occurred at around 7.30pm on Friday, August 13th. They shared CCTV which shows a man who Merseyside Police believes may hold vital information. The owner says the man took around £100. Merseyside Police is now appealing for information and inquiries are ongoing. A Yobu threatened bouncers with a machete after he was refused entry to a bar was spared jail. Ellis Price was turned away from New Brighton's Merino Lounge because door staff were suspicious of his aggressive manner. He returned 45 minutes later with a weapon down his waistband and when told to leave, he confronted bouncers and customers with the blade. Shocking mobile phone footage showed doormen using menu boards, signs, tables and stools to protect themselves. One customer threw a chair at Price who vaulted flower beds before the man fended them off with a table. A judge at Liverpool Crown Court said the team obvious his prison sentence should be suspended after hearing how a past assault had changed Price's personality. Price admitted the fray, possessing an offensive weapon in public and threatening behaviour. Magistrates sentenced him for the latter offence when they imposed a £120 fine.